So if you're not living under a rock, by now you've heard about the deal where Warren Buffett bought certain assets from Dominion Energy in a $10 billion deal. The breakdown of the deal, pretty much $4 billion for certain assets that Berkshire is interested in, mainly in the pipeline and storage of gas. And they also assumed the debt on these assets worth $5.7 billion, which makes the total of around $10 billion. This deal has Greg Abel's fingerprints all over it. He is the head of Berkshire Hathaway's energy division, and he's been looking for deals must have the blessings of Warren Buffett. So we know that he approves of this deal and probably had a hand in the architecture behind it. So let's take a look at which assets Berkshire bought. They probably ended up having over 7,700 miles of storage and pipeline and over 900 billion cubic feet of gas from this deal alone. The particular assets are Dominion Energy Transmission, the Q-Star Pipeline, and the Carolina Gas Transmission. They also have 50% of the Arabius Gas Transmission System and 25%, the big cash cow in this deal, the Cove Point liquefied natural gas facility in Maryland. This is in the Chesapeake line. These assets, in addition to the assets already owned by Berkshire Hathaway Energy, makes them one of the biggest players in energy in the United States. To understand why the deal happened and where the benefit really is, you need to understand who the seller is. Buffett is always going to look for opportunities and cheap assets to buy. That's giving. To understand this deal, you need to understand the state of Dominion Energy. The first thing that comes to mind when you look at the state of Dominion Energy is the failure of the Atlantic Pipeline. We read about that, we heard about that over the weekend. They have this big multi-billion dollar pipeline in the Atlantic and environmental groups opposed it and it went to court. And the major players in this project realized that it makes more sense to cancel the project rather than go throughout the battlefield and try to get it done. Dominion, along with Duke Energy, are the major players in this project. Dominion will absorb a massive loss from this project of the tune of 53% of the $3.4 billion that are already spent in this project alone. Adding to the wound, of course, is the debt problem that Dominion Energy is already in. They estimate that their debt issuance in this year will be anywhere around $2.8 billion to $3.8 billion. This is due to the pressure that the pandemic is putting on energy prices. As I said, Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway, they see the weakness in Dominion Energy as an opportunity to exploit and they give Dominion Energy an offer they can't refuse because this is what Dominion Energy gets from the deal. Number one, they solve their debt problem. They wipe off anywhere from 400 to 700 million dollars of the debt they were supposed to issue this year. Furthermore, the gas business is becoming more of a burden on Dominion Energy. It's an old school business, it's heavily in debt, and their clients are looking for more renewable energy. Dominion Energy itself has a 2050 goal to have zero emissions by 2050. So they want to concentrate their investments and their efforts in renewable energy. They want the gas business and the old school business to be deleveraged from their sheet. Another added benefit, of course, from this deal is Dominion can up their guidance for the year. They can continue to pay their dividends. This is a big cash business. If you invest in a business like this, you're looking to get dividends and returns in terms of liquidity. This allows Dominion Energy to continue doing that. And of course, an added benefit to the executives is using the money from this sale to buy back stocks. Of course, they have to do their scammy thing to get their bonuses and sell their stocks and options and 
cash in in the short term. Whether that is good for Dominion long term or not, it is certainly good for the executives in the law in the short term. So what's in the deal for Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway? If you look at gas prices, they're at the lowest point since 2016, the natural gas prices. Warren Buffett is exploiting this opportunity because in the worst case scenario, gas prices have bottomed and will rebound and that will increase the price of the assets he just bought. Another benefit for Berkshire is it serves their goal of diversifying their business. They want to diversify out of real estate, insurance, and railroads. They want to build their energy business, Berkshire Hathaway Energy. This deal ups their assets from 8% to 18% of total natural gas transmission in the United States. Furthermore, we know how much Warren Buffett loves cash. He loves old school businesses because they produce a lot of cash. That's his style of investing. This business is a massive cash cow owning storage facilities and transmission pipelines allow you to charge interest, rent, lease, a lot of fees that will generate cash even with natural gas prices low. This deal will generate hundreds of millions of dollars a year just from these fees alone. Add to that the fact that natural gas prices might rebound and now you're talking about perhaps closing in a billion dollars, more than a billion dollars in revenue per year. This sounds like a really good opportunity to exploit. I mean, this deal might break even before Warren expects. Maybe he'll be, still be alive to see it. Of course, I'm joking. I'm wishing that he will live for more than 120 years. 120. Any, anything more than 120, I cannot guarantee. But we love Warren Buffett, and we want him to stay longer to learn from his wisdom. And the last goal to serve here for Berkshire Hathaway is their style. They want to exploit opportunities and buy assets cheap. Warren likes to buy things cheap. When you have an opportunity where your seller, the owner of the assets, is desperate to get out of the business and heavily in debt, you can negotiate a deal that is very favorable to you and you can get assets in very cheap prices. This is exactly what Berkshire Hathaway did with this deal. So in conclusion, you might have noticed that Dominion Energy's stock is down today. Investors are saying that maybe Dominion didn't get a good deal. Maybe Warren got the best end of the deal. Of course, Warren is a classic capitalist. He exploited the opportunity. It's what he's supposed to do. Now, is there anything for us retail investors to get from this deal? Not really. You shouldn't go and buy natural gas or make any conclusions from this deal. This is basically classic Warren Buffett seeing a cheap asset, an opportunity to exploit, and he went and took it. That's all. We cannot read into it whether Warren Buffett is continuing to buy assets, whether he thinks the market overall is cheap, whether he thinks that there is a rebound in energy. This is a long-term investment for him and for Berkshire Hathaway. They have their own strategic goals to serve. That's all the information I have for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, share, and like, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter.